is. This little guy is a butcher bird. Don't eat out of there. Here, have a little piece. And uh, he's just coming to say hi, getting his dinner. He's very friendly. I'm just going to break up the little bits of meat for him because he's only little. He's got a baby in the nest at the moment. Well, actually, it's he's fledged. So he brings him here sometimes. Oh, there he is behind me. I can hear him. Or her. <laughs> Your baby's calling you. So he'll take this and he'll regurgitate it for the baby. Hello, baby. Welcome. Do you want to come and have something to eat? Are you going to come over or are you just going to sit there? Here we go. You have a little bit more. This is just what I feed the dogs. Part of what I feed the dogs. They get a combination of things. Let's have a look at baby. There he is. He's carrying on. He wants to be fed. And off they go. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Loves you and leaves you. All right. He'll be back tomorrow <laughs> for some more. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to go again with my aqua negative space. Hopefully you all saw my last video and you know what I'm talking about. I'll just show it to you here. There we go, that's it there. So going again, but just trying not to get it so blocky. Like you can definitely see the three where I drag the three cups. So this time, as I said in the last one, I'm ending my layering with aqua. I've gone five cups this time, just to see if I can sort of make it a little bit more blended. Uh, and I did thin this just a touch. But I thought I might put some, put like a little strap of this one in there as well. We'll see how we go, how much paint I've got left. So pouring medium, same as last time, 70% glue, 30% water, and I've mixed that 50-50 to my paints. This one has 60 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, and then I had to add a touch of water as well. That one's 60-60, 60, 60-55 60, 60, paint, just to thin it a touch. And this one, I've got a little bit less, I just did 40-40. Because the last, the last one I thought was a little bit too aqua. So I cut back on that, as I said I would. And let's do the treadmill silicone for cells. So I did three in each last time. I'm going to do two in this one because this is not as much. And I'm going to do four in the others because they've got a little bit more paint in them. I've got 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint. Get in there, last drop. Get in there. He says, no, I don't want to go. Right. And none in my negative space colour. Give it a really good stir around. If you don't stir your silicone, you're going to get big blobs of silicone. And then when you stretch or tilt your surface, those big blobs of silicone are going to stretch out and you're going to end up with these big, awful, wormy-looking things. So Stir it really well. Right, I'd rather have over stirred than under stirred because it's the heat that's going to bring those cells up and then it's your tilting that's going to stretch those cells. So you can stir it really well. So I've changed the order um, only because I want to finish with that one. Hopefully that's a, a good thing to do. And I've got five cups this time so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with how much paint I use. Actually, I should probably put a little bit more in the first layer because you're always going to lose a little bit of your first colour, aren't you? It's going to stay in the bottom of the cup. I did spray these cups with silicone oil just to you know, help all that paint come out so that it doesn't all, well, 
quite a lot of it stick to the surface. You might end up with a quarter of, a, of your paint left in your cup if you don't boil it. So it slides out nicely. It's like baking a cake. You wouldn't even attempt to bake a cake without having some greaseproof paper or some oil and on the side of your tin, would you? No, because it would stick. Same here. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of paint left over and instead of just doing one colour for my negative space, I might try and have like a couple of different colours. Won't be this one because this one just run out of. Maybe I can try and keep some of the lime, even if I've just got like two lines of the lime somewhere. the lime wasn't very dominant in the last painting it was certainly an aquapore wasn't it but I have cut back on the aqua this time that's going into the cups so hopefully that will help now I'll try not to use all this lime that way I can make a little bit of a statement and have a couple of lines through the center I will put just a little splash of water in there and in there because I don't want what happened last time to happen this time. Now when you flip cut paws are trying to get over your negative space colour and they can't move because this is maybe a little bit thick. same consistency when you start but because you've added other colors in and they all mix together it might be a little bit thinner than your actual negative space colors and then they kind of hit and can't get up over the the bump so try and uh, just make those negative space colors a little bit thinner so that your pores can easily flow over them and into them Maybe it's a little bit thicker still. It's okay. Colours will all blend in the cup and sort of even out a bit. If one's a bit thicker, one's a little bit thinner, it should be alright. If they're all too thick or all too thin, then you're going to have problems. But if a mixed cup like this with different colours, it should be okay. Righto, now there's not much of this left at all. Might only be able to do three cups. That's okay too. Let's change it up a little bit, hey? They don't all have to be the same. If I had more time, maybe I'd layer each cup totally separately. But you guys would just get bored with that and it would take me a long time. So I'll just do this. Righty O one. Two, three, four. Oh, oh, nearly smashed him. These are very soft, these little cups. Five. Doesn't leave much room, does it? Okay. So let's pull a little bit of paint through the centre. We don't need a lot. A little bit more up here. Not sure how much I'm going to need. I've probably got maybe 600 grams of mixed paint made up for this one because some I did 60 grams and 60 grams, whereas the previous pour I did um, 50 and 50. I'm going to put a little lime stripe through there and a little lime stripe through there. I <laughs> just poured it on the side of the cup. Like so. There we go. And hopefully that'll give us a nice little pop of lime. No, I won't put any more in. Got a little bit of 
turquoise left, tiny bit of lime left, just in case I need to do any touch-ups. So I have peacock, deep space, the lime that I make, which is 50-50 light green and yellow, and my cool blue. Right, let's just, while that's sitting there, I'll just smooth this towards the edge. That way the edge is done and the corner's done. Same with this one. I don't mind if I tilt over some of this corner or this edge. I don't really want all of it to go over because, you know, it's my negative space colour. So whether or not this is going to be a good thing, having five cups instead of the other one, which was only three cups, we'll see. I do like experimenting. Okay, let's flip and drag. Now there's not going to be as much paint in these because I've got five of them. So I'm going to have to aim, in my mind's eye, I'm going to have to aim to like to bring the cup down here. That way I don't finish here. So aiming for coming down there. See, it's only got that far. But aim a little bit better. There's not much in there, not much paint in there. That was better. Not so good. Oh, that was shocking. Absolutely shocking. What are you doing, woman? Well, I've got my strappies, so that's pretty. I might put a little bit of this here because it's got the, the lime in it. Yeah, not so easy to flip cups. These, I mean, these little cups were only, you know, half full, so there's not a lot in there to actually pull right across. negative space? Mm, not really, not really. I guess that's because I've done five cups and haven't got as much of the turquoise between, but let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll still be pretty. So this is just a practice, a bit of practice pause for my bigger one that I'm wanting to do. very hard because I'm just thinking, ah, I've ruined it already by not having enough negative space. So I've got two close there. I can smell something burning. Not, not me, I'm not burning anything. Maybe I did get that close down here and I've burnt the paint. Never had that happen before. <laughs> now these these are the two that didn't have the turquoise as the last layer. Hmm. Cells aren't as good in this one. I don't know why. All right, let's start moving this paint around. I think I did definitely get a better negative space effect by having the three flip cups and pouring more of the negative space colour between them because I didn't really do that with this one did I? <laughs> Couldn't really say that's a negative space pour. All right, so we've learned something. Less cups and a nice big thick negative space 
colour works well. Just opening up these. This middle bit here was a bit too busy for my liking. Okay, off we go again. And this is going to be a little bit tricky to get. There's a lot of, a lot of aqua there. What did I do there? It's going to be tricky to cover. tricky to cover that all that blue there my goodness look at that I have to go right over there to get rid of that that was difficult this one as much I mean it's it's a sort of pretty poor it's just not what I was certainly not a, not a negative space poor is it no nope. the colors are nice that's for sure so I took a little bit of the aqua out of this one Too busy in there. I'm going to open that up again. See if I can maybe get it to go off that corner. Go, go, go corner. No, so it doesn't want to go that corner. overstretched it all now. Not really happy with those cells. I've just I had too many cells overstretched them. Especially down here. Look at look at that. Don't like that at all. Let's see if we can get some of that off. The problem is now my paint's moving so slowly. There's hardly any left. Took so much of it off already. There's not a lot left to stretch out. And these are all stretching, over stretching as well. So, yeah, I guess that wasn't a very good example. I do like the colours though. I think the colours are amazing. So I'll need to go again with these same colours, cut down on the turquoise like I did. And go back to three cups. Mm. I'm going to torch a little bit in some of these areas and then I'm going to put some balloon dips over it just to see if I can rescue it. So let's go for some cells, some little cells because they will turn into nice petals when I balloon dip. last time. Last time I wasn't holding my the finger and it made a line so make sure you hold the fingers. Okay let's just do some dipping here and there. I 
It's pretty. I like this band in here. I'm not quite sure about that, so let's pop a little balloon in there. It doesn't have to be as big. We can just push lightly there. But I haven't got as much. I need to get some more paint off the surface, so we'll go again. I like that lime in there. It really looks yellow, doesn't it? But it's actually lime green. Should have put down my paper towel. I'm gonna have to go and get a piece of paper towel. It is nice how we can, I guess, save a pour by doing some balloon dips, but I think we're quite saturated on the Facebook pages with balloon dips, so this is just a practice, it's just a piece of cardboard. It'll most likely just go in the bin. Not like I'm doing a whole big canvas, I'm just playing around, practicing, so I don't mind what it ends up looking like. I can just bin it. Very busy just here, let's do one there. I do like these colours though, I must say. I don't think I've done these ones before, not together anyway. Really pretty. All right, uh, where else? Where else? How many can I get in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of probably need one there and then one there. Let's do this one first. Oops, there's a lot of paint in that one. The last one just mm, where oh, just in the middle there. Go again just to get some of that paint off the surface. And then have a look and see which ones need a little going over if the paints run back into the center. It's got a bit of yellow in it, so I'm just going to pop it on top of that one because that one hasn't really got much in the way of the, the lime. Look at that lime line through there. It's pretty, isn't it? And then there's a bit of lime through here. Not much of a negative space pour, that's for sure, but it's a pretty pour nonetheless. All right, let me just get rid of this paper towel. So I was going for a negative space pour, didn't work, <laughs> by a long shot, turned it into a dip, it's still pretty, it reminds me of a jungle, need a few little monkeys or something poking their heads behind some of these flowers. Kind of looks as if they're poking their head, heads out from behind the trees in a jungle. Pity I can't draw. Right, I'm going to take you down for a close up. I actually don't know if I prefer this one or the one that I did earlier. I'll show the other one. I'll put it on top of this one. I think it's the colours on, on this one that are making it really attractive to me. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to get it centred. That'll do. 
Um, yeah, it's the colours. So pretty. Now, let's see if I can pick this one up without dropping it into the painting. I'll come around this way. So there's that one. That's obviously neg got the aqua negative space. But it was too aqua for me, so I wanted to take some aqua out and increase the lime. I sure did that, but lost my negative space look. I still really love it though. I didn't think I would. I thought I was going to just throw it in the bin, but I really, really like it. It's the lime. The lime that's really popping against this dark blue. And I put more dark blue in it this time and more lime and reduced that turquoise. So, yeah, happy with it. Happy, happy. Okay, thanks for watching. And, uh, oops, I'm in the light. I've got the light behind me. I'll see you for the next one. I'll try another negative space, but I'll try a different colour next time. <laughs> I'll try white. Okay, bye for now.